I'm ready to let this new Corolla speak for itself. Ladies and gentlemen, the all new 2020 Toyota Corolla. Howdy folks, Nathan coming at you from Carmel, California, and these are the 2020 Toyota Corolla, some of the best-selling cars in the world. As a matter of fact, they've sold around 46 million of these puppies. That is a lot. Last year, 2017, in North America, they sold over 308,000. As a matter of fact, the only vehicle, other than a pickup truck, that outsold this was Toyota's very own RAV4. So we're going to have an opportunity to talk to one of the representatives from Toyota about these vehicles. We're going to take you on a little tour. Oh, and by the way, big secret, they're going to introduce a hybrid version of the Corolla at the 2018 Los Angeles Auto Show. Well, we're excited for the 12th generation all-new Corolla. And as we've kind of alluded to or launched earlier was the Corolla hatchback. So we're expanding the Corolla family. But we have basically four different looks. Hatchback, we have our modern look, we have our sport look. And one of my favorite things about this new vehicle is the fact that on our sport grades, you get a bigger engine, more horsepower, sport tuned suspension, paddle shifters, an available intelligent manual transmission, and all the looks to go with it. For our modern vehicle, it comes with a 1.8 CVT, uh -huh. producing 139 horsepower. And then our two liter, it comes with uh, your choice of a direct shift CVT with that fixed first gear right. or the intelligent manual and it has 169 horsepower. Now I believe both that powertrain that's in the uh, XSC over here, yes. that's the same one that's in the hatchback that recently came out, am I correct? That is correct. So our sport grades, so the hatchback only comes in SE or XSE, which are our sport grades, right. and that's continued on here. So right. the, the two liter is that sport engine, mm -hmm. and for our other Corolla, our modern Corolla, it, it has that 1.8. Chances are with over 45 million of these things, nearly 46 million of these babies being made, you may have driven a Corolla, and there have been lots of different types. This is actually the 12th generation of the car, 12 generations. Now, just so you guys know, they have sedans, and back in the day they had front wheel drive, they had rear wheel drive, they had all wheel drive, and soon they're going to have electric wheel drive, that's right, they're going to have a hybrid, go figure. Now here's the cool part. This vehicle, as it stands, 12th generation, started in 1966. And it surpassed the Volkswagen Beetle as being the best selling car in the world. Now these are put onto the new uh, TNGA platform, am I correct? That is correct. And that's shared with vehicles like the RAV4 that we recently tried. Um, I mean, they share some components. Yeah, we, do, we have a few different TNGA platforms. This is the TNGA C platform. Right, and the other one was the K platform. Correct, so okay. this, this shares a platform with, uh, so Corolla, Corolla, Hatchback, and CHR. CHR. Can we take a little walk around? This is a very different looking vehicle than the one yeah. that replaces. Absolutely. So what do you think, uh, can you tell me about the design language and what you've done here? Yeah, so, up front, we've got this, we've incorporated the trapezoidal front grille uh -huh. on all of the Corollas. This one is a little more tighter, more narrower, and we've integrated these horizontal LED accent oh, lights. These are functional. These are functional, which gives it kind of that wide presence and stance. You know, we have the, the Triple J LED accent lights with the Bi LED standard LEDs, headlights. And one of my favorite things is, you know, the hood is here. The fender is here. We've actually pulled the fender to protrude or you know, kind of some fender flares on the front and the back, which really give it that great stance and presence. Right, it makes it look like the wheels are at the corners. Yes. Yeah, very much. Uh, now, this is this is very similar to the hatchback, but it's still different. Yes, th this is a unique face. This is a unique design. And we're excited to take in to have that Corolla family story. So let's have a look here along the, uh, the bias of the car because it looks like you have a character line that's really yep. prominent. So we got that, that strong body line up here uh -huh. and it kind of keep lends your eye here all the way across down the back. And you'll notice on this XSE, the, the sport grades, they have this 
dark gray integration. It's on the front bumper, uh -huh. it's on the wheel, it's on the side rocker, uh -huh. okay. it's on the rear bumper, and even the rear spoiler are this dark gray color to accentuate the sportiness. Uh, are these, these are the standard wheels that will come with it? This, these are the standard wheels. So all the sport grades will get this 18-inch alloy. So the wheelbase is exactly the same as our previous Corolla sedan, right? but the front overhang is slightly smaller, so 25 millimeters, a little bit shorter, uh -huh. but uh, but yeah, wheelbase is exactly the same. It's wheelbase. wider, the vehicle's lower, lower center of gravity. Lower center of gravity. Let's have a look back here. I noticed dual exhaust. Yeah, dual exhaust tip on the sport grades, and this is where that dark gray material comes into play, kind of this rear diffuser area, where, where we bring that honeycomb mesh grill uh, from the front to the back. It's pretty neat, and that is exclusive to this model, the XSC, am I correct? And the SE. And the SE, that gets the same treatment. Correct, so that, the SE will not have this dark gray spoiler, it's color keyed, but for the XSC we have that. We have LED lights all around, uh, and they're smoked as compared to our, our modern model. Okay, so this interior is new. And it looks like there's a few things that stand out immediately. First of all, that is an all digital display. That is, so it's a seven inch TFT multi-information display. Uh -huh. um, it's customizable, so you can change it from this digital to an analog, which is, it's got the, a wide uh, mile per hour band. Uh -huh. We have our eight inch touchscreen that's standard on basically every Corolla. Wow. Um, we have Intune 3.0 with a lot of really cool standard features. So standard on all Corolla is Apple CarPlay, uh -huh. Amazon Alexa, uh -huh. so you can add milk to your grocery list or play 20 questions or any of those Alexa skills, almost all, can be done within the car. I see. Standard Wi-Fi and Safety Connect. So if you have an accident, call center will get a hold of you or if you need roadside assistance, you can push this or even stolen vehicle locator, all standard equipment on this car. Now another thing that I believe is standard is the Safety Sense 2.0. That is correct. And that yep. is, that's the updated one which started out, I believe, on the Corolla hatchback. That's true. Yep. So Corolla hatchback, our RAV, and now the Corolla sedan are the cars that have Toyota Safety Sense 2.0. So up front we have our forward facing camera, which is here integrated behind the glass. And then you'll notice on most of our Toyota vehicles, the Toyota logo has gotten three-dimensional and glossy. It looks really premium, right. um, but we wanted to have a unique face for our sport model. So the radar system is actually behind this black panel. So it's still there. It's standard on all the Corollas. Now, unlike the XSC, this is where the sensors are kept on this model and other models. So there are some changes. It doesn't have the cool Knight Rider little thing going on there. So it's anchored by our pre-collision system with automatic emergency braking uh -huh. for vehicles during the day and night, pedestrians during the day and low light situations, and even bicycles during the day, which is really, really unique and cool. We have lane departure alert with steering assist. We have automatic high beams, uh, full speed dynamic radar cruise control and some new features for TSS 2.0, which is road sign assist, where it'll read the road sign and display it on the MID. Oh, okay. And lane tracing assist, where the vehicle will make constant steering inputs to keep the vehicle centered in the lane. It's when the cruise control and the lane departure alert are on, they work together, so it's intended for the highway. Um, and what better way to prevent an unwanted lane departure accident than by having the vehicle help you stay within your lane. Is that available also on the manual transmission model? Because they're, they're so different in terms of how they work, right? So almost all the features are available on the manual transmission. Uh -huh. The only one that is not is the lane tracing because of the, the way the cruise control works. Uh, but you do get the pre-collision, you do get the lane departure alert, you do get the dynamic radar cruise control and the automatic high beams. favorite feature? Oh, there's there's a lot of them. You know, I think technology has got to be the thing that sticks out, right? We've shoehorned so much from CarPlay to Alexa to Wi-Fi all standard to Toyota Safety Sense 2.0 standard, you know, and then we've added flavors for everybody. We've got the hatchback, we've got our modern, our sport, and our soon hybrid. The hybrid, which will debut at the LA Auto Show. Correct. Really soon, actually. Yeah, about two weeks. Two weeks. 
Well, this is just a small taste of the Corolla. Obviously, we need to get it to Colorado and test it. Hell, we gotta go to the press event and drive it. But here's the best part. You guys get to come along with us because we're gonna hit the LA Auto Show and we're gonna check out the new hybrid version of this car, and that's a first. Thanks for joining me for the Fastlane Car. This is Nathan. I'll see you next time.